Wolves 2, Chelsea 1. Uh, Merry Christmas to you too. Um, are we surprised? Are we actually surprised? Um, a shocking performance all around. Um, Maurizio Pochettino making it increasingly, increasingly hard to enjoy watching this Chelsea side. I'm, I'm kind of done at this point. Not just with Pochettino um, necessarily, but with these players. They stink, man. They stink. Malo Gusto, for me, realistically, the only player that played well today. Sterling with an assist, but... <sighs> the less said about him, the better. Could have easily won this game if he'd less, it just not been greedy, to be honest with you. Um, before we start, as you can see, very close to 7,000 subscribers. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified of any future content on the channel. And please like the video. Massively appreciated. Uh, thank you very much. We're trying to get to somehow get to 7,000 subscribers before the end of the year. It's impossible, but who knows? Who knows? Um... An embarrassing, embarrassing performance from start to finish. Um, it, it follows the fundamentals. It follows the um, the structure. It follows the the foundation that I labelled the other day as to how a Chelsea game typically goes. We're all right in the first five to ten minutes. We're okay. Um, and then a certain amount of time goes by and we're like, OK, this team's starting to kind of gauge how we're playing. They're, they're starting to read us a little bit better. I think I put it down to I ain't Nori or ain't Nori. Nori for them went down quite early in the first half, I think 25 minutes or so. And uh, the, 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 you know, Gary O'Neill managed to get the players over. Give them, replenish them with with some formation, with, with some tactics, with, with, with whatever, whatever's going on. He, they, they had a chance. He wasn't fucking hurt. He wasn't injured. There was nothing wrong with him. It, it, it just allowed them to uh, have a team talk, re regather. Pochettino obviously didn't do anywhere near as much as Gary O'Neill because as soon as football commenced after that. The game was pretty much done. Wolves had our number. They they saw what was happening from start to finish. Uh, Gary O'Neill judged what he thought was to be, uh, uh, the, 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 you know, the, the formation or the tactics that we were going with. And he, he gave them the game plan after that. This doesn't seem as though it was um, not predetermined. Gary O'Neill probably had this plan. It was just like, right, wait until a certain amount, amount of time and then we'll see what happens. Do you know what I mean? Um, and uh, then the rest is history, pretty much. It's just, it, it's kind of predictable after that. We were begging for half time. We didn't get half time. Well, well we, we did. We managed to get to half time, but it was all too little too late in the end because right after the half time break finished, they scored straight away. And then we're on the back foot again, fighting again against a one nil deficit again. And it's not a surprise. I think they had a, their, their goal ratio. What is it? They, their expected goals was fucking 0.5 at half time. Ours was one goal. Sterling with a great chance. Absolutely greedy. So gr the greediest bastard move I've seen a Chelsea do a player do in so, so long. In so, so long. And uh, it, it, it just, it begs belief. I, I, I just, I read out a statistic towards the end of the game where it was uh, Raheem Sterling has had four goals and two assists in, in six of his last six against Wolves. He's got his assist now, though, so he's got seven in seven, so he doesn't give a toss. But the fact of the matter is, uh, arguably, well, not arguably, he is, Keep mentioning Thiago Silva like he's he's not he's not up there to try and score. Do you know what I mean? Um, he, Ryan Sterling is above and beyond the most undeniably the most experienced player we have in our forward positions. And what we saw today was nothing short of inexperience. Not in what. Well, for, for any young player, that would have been seen as inexperience and, um, you know, maybe the occasion didn't 
didn't work. The occasion got to him a little bit too much. He saw the headlines and everything like that. Sterling has no reason to shoot there. He has no reason. He had to run past Jackson in order to get to the goal. So he knew there were players there. He knew there were players in, you know, either side or us to the side of him. <coughs> and yet he still decides to go for the low shot. A terrible shot at that. Absolutely ruined the game. Ruined the momentum. Ruined the confidence in this side, if there was any to begin with. It, it, it just goes to... It, that that is one of those ones where the the manager cannot be blamed, but what the manager can be blamed for, ladies and gentlemen, is bringing off Malo Gusto, our arguably our only creative player that we had on. The overlapping runs from Palmer, running down the right hand side, le you know, leathering it into the box, crossing it in, something we we never see. We never see crosses anymore. We never see effective crosses anymore. And Gusto was providing that. It was provide, although it was on a booking, he was providing that that support down the right hand side. And albeit, obviously, in the end, Sterling got that cross off on the right hand side that led to the goal. Deflection, by the way. Um, I, I think bringing off Gusto for a fucking. What, 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 however tall Badia Shiel is, and again, I love Badia Shiel. I think he's a top talent. I think he's got everything it takes to be a top, top player for Chelsea in the future. But Jesus Christ, why are you bringing on some like six foot six geezer in place of Malo Gusto when we're one nil down? What is wrong with you? Well, I, I, I'm so, I'm so confused as to what on earth the game plan is there. And it was too little too late because I know we got the goal in the 96th minute. But I, 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 I just don't... I don't think Pochettino even knows what he's doing anymore. I don't, I'm, I, I, a lot of people would argue that they don't think they knew what, that he knew what he was doing to begin with. But just some of the mistakes... And don't even get me started on the fucking... The disciplinary issues on this side getting absolutely ridiculous. It's been ridiculous. It is getting a joke now. How many yellow cards in the end did we have? Let me see. Yellow cards. Six. Six. Jackson, what a surprise. Palmer, stupid descent or kicking the ball away. Gallagher, Fucking stupid as well. Sterling, Gusto, and then I'm fairly sure Bet and Ellie got booked as well. Mudrick was lucky not to get booked for fucking mouthing off as well. Uh, it's just getting on my tits. It really is getting on my tits. The temper, the lack of composure, the lack of you know discipline on this t on, on this team is just it is absolutely outrageously bad. Man of the match, Malo Gusto. Um. But I'm going to give it to, to Nkunku, to be honest with you. Coming on, scoring, fucking just doing what he needs to do. Simple as that. <sighs> Such a waste. Such a waste of a game. These poor, those poor fucking fans that had to go up to the game as well to, to, to go and see that shite. And albeit they got an Nkunku goal, was it worth it? Was it worth it, really? Jesus. Please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified of any future content on the channel. Merry Christmas from me. I will see you in a couple of days. Stay safe, stay frosty. All the best. My name is Harry Up the Chelsea. And peace.